get into an edge at the University of Sacramento and pursue business administration and finance management. Okay. And then, um, how did you first learn about the University of Sacramento? Uh, first of all, my consultant published me, mm-hmm. and after that, I will do research about the University. I mean, and I even attend the Zoom session of the University, and this was your project, this was your, your presentation, and I like that. They have a good facility for the students, for more than it's more for international students, so I choose the university. Okay, and then how do you plan to finance your education and living expenses in the United States? My dad and my brother are going to finance me. Okay. Like me. My dad has a construction business, and his annual income is 70 lakh, and we have the we have also income from land rent for 100,000. And my my brother was in was in Japan. He's working. Uh, his annual income is 20, 21 lakh. It's sorry, 31 lakh. Mm-hmm. So I'm financially fit for the education. Okay. Um, and then have you received any scholarships or financial aid for your studies? No, no. After the when I reached the university, uh, okay. I can apply for the scholarship. Okay. Um, and then, do you have any family members or relatives in the U.S.? No. Uh, have you ever been to the United States before? No. No. Um, and then, so when you do plan on, st- or when you're in New York State, that you do study, are there any other places you'd like to go visit in the country? Okay. Um, do you plan, how do you plan to adapt to the cultural? By involving in the environment, making new friends, the native people, meeting native people of USA, uh, mainly the native people of the, that state. one of those rooms, I'll go, Craig and I will go to a room, and then we'll take all the students, and that'll be the end of that. So, from that two shops, they're earning much more uh, in yearly, about $55,000, and they will provide me money, and I can focus on my studies, and I have no tension about the money. Okay, perfect. And what are your plans after completing your studies? Yes, after completing my uh, study of four-year bachelor, I will return back to Nepal and manage the two shops which I have here, and they are uh, the mm. old shops and Puja Pasal, which is Puja Pasal, which is used for worshiping gods, materials which is used for worshiping gods. Worshiping gods. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I will make their branches and uh, sell sell the goods in very uh, cheap rate. Okay. All right. Um, do you have any friends over there? Any family in the U.S.? No, I don't have any. Okay, all your family is here. Yes. Okay, and your son. Yeah. Um, what do you think about it? How to adapt to the cultural differences in the U.S.? As you know, I am a very extrovert person, and I can make our friends much more, lot easier. And I am very sure that I will adapt to their culture by seeing their. Uh, uh, seeing their dress ups, seeing their uh, point of floggings, that's all. Okay, yeah. okay, John, quick. All right, sounds good. So remember to be confident, are honest, well prepared. You sound well prepared. It's important to convey your genuine intention to study and return to your home country yes. after completing your education. I wish you well. Thank you, man. Namaste. Anu. So what is the purpose of your trip to the U.S.? My purpose to my purpose to trip to the U.S. is um, to complete my graduation in cyber security. Cyber security. Security. Um, what it, What is your educational background to date? I have a job in my high school, and I have achieved a three point four seven GPA in computer science. Okay. So no college yet. This will be okay. no. And why did, what college will you be going to or what university and why did you choose that one? Well, I'm going to Webster University in Missouri and uh, one of my cousin's sister is uh, currently studying there and she suggested to visit this university. She told me that uh, com- especially in the computer field uh, there are a lot of resources to use and to gain knowledge. And, uh, so <laughs> my name is Craig Phillips, I'll be your examiner today. Please give me your full name. My Okay, happy to meet you, Amanda. I'm going to ask you a few questions regarding your application to study in the U.S. First of all, Amanda, tell me, why do you want to study in the United States? Uh, there is a lot of different software structure and education system of Nepal in the U.S.A. I always wanted to complete my bachelor from the U.S.A. as it is a prestigious to have a U.S.A. certified university degree. Uh, digital in the U.S.A. will be more beneficial for me because it also international experience. What is your major? Psychology. 
psychology. Uh, how does the psychology match up with you and, and the U.S.? Why, why, do you, why is Australia better for psychology or, or England better? Um, I just thought that Okay, so the research and development in the psychology field is the strongest in the United States, is that what you're telling me? Okay. And what are your career plans? After pursuing a degree, I will jump back to my and with all the international experience and knowledge, I will go Yes. The system and the resources of the United States can provide me. You can even try and start on some. Go to the time. I mean, retry an application. Second, to retry the application. Retry will do the option also. Recreate a new. View your DS once. View your DS once. View your DS once. View your DS once. Recreate your new body, but is it? Do you feel like you did your new self? This is my university now. You did your new savings, travel day. You can eat it, 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 you can e